All right, Peach Patch. So now I'm about to stop by the dollar store. It is not going to be a typical Dollar Tree shopping trip because I got stuff to do well. Shoot, if I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A, I should go to Chick-fil-A first and then go to Dollar Tree. So yeah, let's go to Chick-fil-A first. I was gonna take y'all on the journey with me and drive and show y'all the roads and all that, but y'all was playing on me yesterday. Talking about, girl, you ain't even stop. You did a rolling stop. Y'all sound like daddy. Y'all be playing hating on me. I thought y'all was team Peach, but instead y'all team daddy. Y'all hating on me. I do be stopping. Look, sign. And it's a stop. See that? I stopped. Quit hating on me. Daddy always said that every time he ride with me, he be like, you ain't stop, you yield. I'm like, boy, it is a stop. Look, I stopped. It wasn't no cars coming, and I went. Quit hating on me. Quit judging me. Judging mammy. Judging mammy. <laughs> hey, you know, peach. Judging mammy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am so happy. I am feeling so much better. I hate waiting in these yellow lines because I'm not the best driver in the world, okay? Daddy taught me how to drive. I've been with Daddy since I was 16. And I had my little my little driving license. I had an actual license because I'm book smart. I passed all the tests in the book. But I didn't have and it looked like I'm on the wrong side of the road, but that's because I got my camera cricket. Look, see, I'm on the right side. I'm on the right side. I'll be all up in my biz my eat. But I still couldn't drive that good. I remember. Well, let me show you these houses I like. You can get a little glimpse of them, I think. I love this subdivision. These are some nice homes. Oh, you can't even see me, child, because how my thing was positioned. My bad. I thought I was going to show y'all something. But when I was in driver's ed, the driver's ed teacher was also my PE coach. And I remember one day he took his hat off and he threw it on the ground and he stumped on it. He was like, oh, my God, tomorrow I need everybody to bring $5 to school so we can raise money for Peaches so she can get her a lifetime bus pass. You cannot drive. Get out of the car. I was trying to do serpentine, you know, uh, trying to do the little three-point turns, and I was hitting all the cones. I knocked down every single cone, right? I could not drive for the life of me. But the driving portion of the class only made up, I think, like 20% of your grade, and then the book portion made up 80%. And because I was book smart, I didn't have to know how to drive. I passed all the book tests. I got 100 on all of them, so I got my license. And he was so upset about that. He was like, you do not deserve a license in this and this. So my mama, them, they let me drive one time, and I almost, like, wrecked, like, three times, and they was laughing at me. I couldn't stop on brakes. I used to stop on brakes like this. <laughs> like that, right? So, you, I don't know if y'all felt that. I hope y'all felt it, because I tried my hard, it's hardest to make you feel it. And I'm driving on the line, it's just how my camera position, right? But oh well, I'm, I know how to drive a little bit now, better, okay? I know how to drive better, I still got my license. I'm 31, I done had my license for what, 16? I got them at 15, 15. I done had them for 16 years. I done had my license for 16 years, okay? So get up out my business. I know what I'm doing, I know how to drive a little piece. But, I was like crying about it and my mama them they was laughing at me they was like ah peaches can't drive she ain't gonna never know how to drive laughing at me then i got out of the car and i just started crying i was like i'm gonna walk i'm never riding with y'all again i'm gonna walk you know because i'm a drama queen so i had to be you know my normal dramatic self and i started walking down the street crying and they just rolled past me laughing it was not good but then when i got with daddy we was already together but when he started being allowed to come over to my house he was like, I'm going to teach you how to drive. You need to learn how to drive and teach you how to drive. Because daddy already had his own car and stuff. And so my sister, she was like, I'm going to come with y'all then. And when she came with us, she was like, she can't drive. I kept like stumping on the brakes like normal. Like how I've been doing like, er, 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 you know, every couple seconds. And you know how you tap the brakes real hard instead of easing up on the brake. I was just stumping it all the way down. And we was jerking. And so she was like, ah, you can't drive. You ain't going to never learn how to drive. Ah, 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 picking on me. And then daddy was like, listen, tune her eye. Tune your hater eye. Don't pay no attention to her. You got this, bitches. You could do this. You got this. And he was coaching me. And he was like, shut up. He told her, he was like, shut up. We ain't know her. And I learned how to drive. And I remember my first time getting on the interstate was with daddy. He used to have to come pick me up from work. Because my mama said I had to be home by 10 o'clock. And she wasn't coming to get me. And if I didn't make it home by 10, she was going to whoop me. So daddy used to come get me every night. It was in high school. Every night. And take me home from work. That was jacked up with my mama. Yes, it was. 
they got like, why you be having beef with your mama? Because of that, she was jacked up. She used to be doing me wrong. But anyways, so daddy used to come get me. And one night he was like, man, Peaches, I'm so sleepy. You gonna have to drive tonight on the interstate. And I'm like, I'm not driving on no interstate. Now listen, this is so illegal, y'all. Now you can talk about about doing this, but who's gonna go around? I'm not going around. I'm supposed to be on that side of the road, but I'm trying to make it to Chick-fil-A. And it's the only way Chick-fil-A let you in. So I had to do that. I do that all the time. I ain't gonna lie now. I ain't gonna lie about that. I do that all the time. Okay, Peach Patch. I thought McIntyre, he gave me this. He was like, you can have this, mom. My mama them gave him this and he gave this to me. But I thought it was a breakfast one. I guess he kept the breakfast one. Um, so I'm gonna have to buy my own breakfast. That's what I want. You can get lunch anytime at Chick-fil-A, but I'm about to buy my own breakfast. But anywho, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, so he was like, you're going to have to drive yourself home on the interstate. Now, I had never drove on the interstate. Daddy took the interstate home every night to take me home from work. But I never drove on the interstate. So I was terrified. I was like, no, I'm going to wreck him. He was like, it's not busy. He was like, you're gonna, you need to learn how to drive on the interstate. You got this. I'm tired. You got this. And we got on the interstate. He was just coaching me through. And it wasn't that much traffic. And I realized I could speed on him. Oh, it was a wrap. It was a wrap after that. I started taking the interstate all the time. Dad used to let me boss him around back then. He was so nice. He used to let me boss him around. I used to be taking his car. Uh, he'd take me and my friends everywhere we want to go. I'd be like, come get me. Take us to get our hair done. Take us to get our nails done. Take me back to Sierra House. Take me over here to Tay Tay House. Take Tay Tay home. Let's go to the movies. Take the he used to just let me do whatever. It was young. That's when he really, 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 really liked me. He really liked me. That was before I cheated on him. <laughs> but we'll get into that another time. Hi, how are you? I want to get a number one. That's the sausage bacon. I want the chicken one. I want chicken, egg, and cheese. Um, uh-huh. And then I just want the biscuit. That I just want the biscuit. I don't want the meal. And then I want to get a large um, cup of water. Yeah. And I'm paying cash. Um, honey and jam. Two strawberry jams. Oh, thank you. It was only three ninety seven. I ain't getting no meal. Wow. Three ninety seven. That, I like that total. That was a good price for some breakfast. Yes, I want my three pennies. Sorry. The clutch of my invisible person, they do. I need my three pennies. If you take three pennies from everybody who be at Chick fil A, you will be rich. I'm petty like that. I've been wanting my change. Thank you. If y'all leaving y'all change, y'all better stop doing that, girl. All that change add up, baby. I don't ever know when I'm going to be broke. And I'm gonna have to be scraping up change to put gas in my car. Oh, baby, I need, I need that. I feel like he tried me. But anyways, and it was only three sixty-five. But with taxes, we got tax in Hillsborough County. We got state tax in Florida and the county tax. It came up to three ninety-seven. But yeah, I cheated on Daddy, and I feel like when I cheated on Daddy, my biggest mistake about cheating on Daddy, we was teenagers. I lost my virginity to him. But my biggest mistake about cheating on him was telling him. After I told him about it, I told him about it because I felt so guilty. Like, the next night after I cheated on him, he was trying to be, like, all up under me the next day. Like, he was trying to be so nice versus he was so distant a few days before, that, which is what led me to cheat because he was being distant. He was cheating, too. He was cheating, too. I already found out after I told him I cheated on him, then he told me, I don't care. I've been cheating on you. I was like, you know. But now that we older, we happy those things happen because um, I've gotten to live life. Like, I really, truly have gotten to live life. He has gotten to live life. We have gotten to be apart. We done been through so many things together. And at the end of all that, we still realize, like, we want to be together. But, yeah, I was like, when I cheated on Daddy, I was 17 years old. Yes, I was having sex at 16. I lost my virginity. At 16, I lost it in January. I turned 17 in April, and then I cheated on Daddy in June. Mm -hmm. On my mama's birthday, she let me go on a date with this boy. This boy that used to be writing me poems. I love poetry, okay? I love 
words and all that. So this boy, he used to be writing me poems. And he was just a sweet little gentleman. Like, he, daddy was like a thug, like a street dude. This guy was such a gentleman. And daddy had been, like, acting all distant and standoffish, like, being mean to me. And this boy, like, wrote, did he write me on my space? I think he wrote me on MySpace. It was summer vacation. And then we started talking on the phone. And then one day I was like, forget it. Like, daddy wasn't answering the phone for me. I let him come over. It was my mom's birthday. He was supposed to come. We were supposed to go on a date to the movies. But we didn't go to the movies. We just ended up doing what teenagers do. And he had sucked my toes. He was That boy was 16. He was a year younger than me out here sucking toes. He was so nasty, you know what I think about it. He was so nasty, but he sucked my toes. And when he sucked my toes, I had to get loose. She had to get loose. And then daddy started calling me. When I started getting loose, daddy started calling me. I'm like, this dude ain't been talking to me for like three days. He been acting all stank. Now he want to call me? What's get you? So I answered the phone, you know, I got loose, busted all wide open, busted wide open, busted, I busted wide open, right? And then, um, me and that boy, I thought that boy was going to be my boyfriend. But then I felt guilty. I was like, but I love this man, the other, this guy, the boy I was dating daddy. I was like, I love him. I just, I felt so bad. My conscience felt so bad. Like, it was nice, but I felt bad. And the next day, guess what daddy did? He came over. Cause I went answer the phone. He came to my house, like just popped up. My mom and I'm gonna let him come in. We was in the garage. We had like our garage was turned into like uh entertainment area. And I was in there writing in my diary. And daddy had came over. I didn't even know he was there. He came in the garage while I was at. And this boy sucked my toes. <laughs> and I felt so guilty. I, I had kept telling him like, leave me alone, leave me alone. And then he said, I was like, I don't want to be bothered. My stomach hurt and this and this. So he finally ended up leaving, like leaving, leaving me alone. And then uh, that night, he like kept calling, bothering me all day. That night, I just broke down. I was like, look, I cheated on you. I'm sorry. He was like, you a hoe. You a hoe. I ain't never think you'll do nothing like this. You a hoe. I can't believe you. Da -da 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 I felt so bad. I was like, but he was writing me poems. He stopped my toes. He stopped my toes. Daddy was not with that. He was so mad. Hi. Thank you. Got my stuff. Peach patch. You as well, think. So, um, we done with Chick fil A. Now we're going to stop by the dollar stuff. And then we'll be home and all that good stuff. And no, I did not buy anybody else nothing. Nope. <laughs> That's the beauty of going out by yourself. My kids is home, sick, gorgeous in that school. But um, Gregory and Choice are home. McKay and Choice are home. And I ain't bought them nothing. No, mm -mm. they got food at home. They got cereal, they got eggs, they got bacon, they got chicken and soup. I'm gonna eat this before I go home and hide the evidence. Now I could have spent $4 on all of us a sandwich, you know, but why would I buy them a sandwich when we got food at home? Think about it, okay? Anyways, um, what happened after that? Oh, so daddy was like, you a hoe. You ain't nothing but a hoe. I don't know. Like, going off on me, hurt my feelings, had me crying. Like, no, I'm not. Then he called me back. He was like, I'm done with you. I don't never want to talk to you again, hoe. Right? So I was like, <laughs> you know, crying. And then he called me back, like, probably five minutes later after he seen I didn't call him back. That was my family. Like, where you at? Where you at? Why your business? I ain't been gone that long. I mean, I been gone like two hours. That ain't that long. I took the chair to school and never came back. That's what I be doing. I be doing stuff like that. Anyway, <laughs> um, what happened after that? Oh, so he was like, you a hoe. You a hoe. I can't believe, right? So I didn't care. I cared, but I didn't. I was crying. But another part of me was like, child, I'm finna call this boy and get my toes sucked again. You know? And he had a little car and everything. He had a job, a little 16 year old. Came from a good family. Parents was in the military. Like he was a nice little gentle guy. So I thought. So daddy called me back. He was like, you know what? You know what? I ain't even mad at you. Cause I've been cheating on you the whole time. I was like, what? 
and he went to tell me how he was cheating on me and who he was messing with. And I started really crying then. I was like, I can't believe you. <laughs> you know, I was 17. You know, <laughs> we was young. We was teenagers. I ain't mad about that. I feel like when you a teenager, you don't know who you gonna be with. You be thinking you get with somebody, you gonna be with them for the rest of your life, and it's gonna be like the movies. And it's like, no, it's not gonna be like that. The movies be lying. My cousin told me that one time. He was like, Peaches, you hurt my boy cousin. He a player player. He was like, you be hurting your own feelings because you watch too much love movies. He like, you watch all them romance, them white people romance movies. No offense to the Vanilla Peaches. That's how we talk. He like, you watch some white people romance movies and shit don't be like that for real life. It's not a fucking fairy tale. Okay? Like, you Fantasia, it's not a fairy tale. You know, you gonna mess up, they gonna mess up. That's life. You, you gotta stop thinking you supposed to meet somebody, fall in love, and live happily ever after. Nothing ever happens bad. That's not reality. So, once, I'm ashy as usual, y'all. I'm always ashy. Once I realized that, it changed a lot. But after that, I was like, oh, it's on and popping. We was just was like, both of us was just on and popping after that. But how we end up getting back together after that? Oh, he, went, he stopped talking to me. He stopped talking to me for about a week. The other boy, I found out that he was a slur, okay? A slur is a slut and a whore mixed together. He was a slur, okay? He was writing all the girls the same fucking poem, okay? <laughs> he was even messing with my cousin. My cousin. He played me like a motherfucking fiddle. When I think about it, I can't do nothing but laugh. Like, nigga, you did that. You did that. But, oh. I'm just thinking about it. My teenage years was lit, y'all. I had a good time as a teenager. Um, what happened after that? Oh, so it was like a week. A week had went by. I had them found out this boy was writing other girls' poems. The same funky-ass poems. <laughs> I forgot how I found out. How did I find it out? I think I had finally told one of my friends about him. He was like, she was like, he wrote my other friend that same thing. And... I found out that this boy wasn't nothing but a slut and he played me. He used me for my vagina. I wasted a whole good. I could have been with one man on you because of a poem. Because of a poem that you was writing everybody else. I got beef with you, nigga. But <laughs> I ain't mad. I think it was a learning experience. Anyway, so I ain't talked to daddy or the other boy for like, I think it was a week or two weeks. And one day I was walking down the street and I used to have on these bobos. I love bobos from Old Navy back then. That was my style. I didn't wear like Nikes and all that, Jordans. I wore bobos. And I had on some bobos and they had like hearts and butterflies. And everybody said I walked like a model. Like I got a funny walk. I think I'm all that. I walk like I'm stuck up and stuff like that. That's what they say. Even still to this day, people like, you still walk like that. Um, But I was walking down the street and I just heard a boy say, no ugly ass shoes and that steak ass walk and I looked and it was daddy and I was just like I'm so happy to see you and after that we started back going together that same day he was with his friend his friend was like y'all might as well make up he was with Earl the squirrel he was like y'all might as well make up what y'all might as well make up just make up with him. you know you like him make up and we started back going together that day okay but I will say he lost like all respect for me after that after that he was real mean he like talk to me any kind of way do whatever and I told my big sister and my big sister was like that's because you dumb I'm like what you mean I'm dumb she was like you don't never you don't never tell a man when you cheat on him so for all of y'all out there I don't care how mad your man make you if you cheat he cheat don't ever 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 in your life tell these men that you cheat on them or that you cheated I don't care if he just hunched the lady at your church if you decide you're going to be with him, don't come out and tell him you've been sleeping with the deacon. Keep that to yourself, sis, because men aren't like women. They can't forgive like us. Like, we can forgive you, like, real deal forgive you and love you the same. A man, once you cheat on a man and you tell him, he can't love you the same. He can't handle that. I think about animals in regards to that, like how lioness could share one man. They could share one man and one lion, and they could be okay with Simba messing with everybody else. He messing with Nyla, Keisha, Mika, Tasha, and Nyla still gonna love Simba the same. She gonna still forgive him. She might be mad at the girl. She gonna still forgive him. But if 
December, find out that Nyla, she, you know, him, he might try to kill Nyla. He might try to kill her. So just keep it to your, just keep it to yourself. But I don't cheat no more. You know, that's my past. I don't cheat. I don't cheat no more. And even if I did cheat, but I don't cheat no more for real, for real, I don't cheat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell. Cause my sister, she taught me a valuable lesson. She was like, you will never tell. I cheated on my boyfriend six times. I don't never tell. He still love me the same. You don't never tell. I was like, and as I've grown older, I realized that like men, they could cheat on you, and you could know, and you could still love them. Women, we cheat on them. They think that we is the scum of the earth. I'm talking about even if you just talk to a dude, you let a dude suck your toes, okay? And he done threw that peen all around the city. He been throwing that peen, boom, everywhere, everywhere. You want it? Who want it? Old, young, who? Red, white. Blue, he throwing it everywhere. And you still love that dirty peen the same. But you, girl, he's gonna hate your guts. He's gonna hate your guts. But we gotten past all that. Like now, me and daddy relationship is real cool. Like we best friends, we homies. And I think that's important. You gotta get back to being your significant other friend. Now, don't best friend me to the point where you liking the girl and you telling it. Cause I'm like, anyways, um, I've been with daddy now for, we've been together for what? 15 years now, 15 years. Going on 16 years, has it been 16? Whatever, like 15 years. And we done been through some of everything. I know a lot of y'all like so intrigued by my relationship with daddy. I won't probably ever discuss my relationship with daddy in depth like i'll probably only when i feel comfortable that's what i think is the main thing people got to realize i'm gonna tell y'all what i feel comfortable telling y'all just because you want to know something don't mean i'm obligated to tell y'all but i love him i'm in love right now we in love with each other i, I like i love his dirty trials y'all know that sunshine innocent song and i love this man and i can't stop He's like a force of nature. Excuse me, but I love his dirty draws. That's how I feel. I love his dirty draws. Okay, I, lo I love him at this moment. It's been moments where I hated him. He's hated me. It's been moments where I thought we would never be together again. And it's been moments where we just like, we love each other, but we just know it can't work and we respectful. But at this moment, I feel like I'm in love. Like, even when I talk to him on the phone, I'd be, like, cheesing like a schoolgirl. like, when I first met him. I love him so much. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. But we at Dollar Tree. We're going to run up in here. All right, let's play it. What we getting out of Dollar Tree? We're going to stay focused because I got to hurry up and get home, okay? Um, the only thing I need out here, I need some glass cleaner, some tissue, um, another roll of paper towel. If they got the man gotta go bags, I definitely want them good senses because they haven't been having them at the Dollar Tree I go to. Mm -hmm. Y'all buying up all my bags. Another thing I need out of here is what? Some pens. That's it. All right, let's go back over our list. We ain't writing it down because I ain't got no pen. We are gonna get good sense, the red and black ones. Good sense bags. We're going to get some tissue. We're going to get some pins we're going to get some glass cleaner that's what i really came here for because i need to clean my mirror and my car windows i want the foam kind i do not want the spray i love the foam okay if i see the foam i'm getting three cans and to make sure i stick to this goal we're only gonna bring twenty dollars okay that what i need i probably should only spend like ten dollars but we're gonna bring twenty because it's the dollar so in case your girl get a little distracted i'm gonna leave everything else so in the back room. We ain't trying to ball out in the Dollar Tree. I, I got this mask in the car today. I be having masks in my car. The reason why I don't be having masks is because I end up putting them in my purse, then taking them in the house, and then never bringing them back outside. Like, after I wear a mask, I might put it in my purse when I walk out the store, grab my next mask. So that's how I be ending up without a mask. Like, my other mask I just had on, it was too big anyways, but I just put it in my purse. 
Bath and Body Works open. And I got a coupon. My auntie gave me a coupon. She gave me two. I'm going to try not to go over there, though. We're not going to go over there. I got until October 4th. Okay, so That's this Dollar Tree. Tree. This Bath and Body Works. We're going to try to not go to the bath and the Body Works. Let's stay at the Dollar Store. I ain't even, like, put on no clothes. I just threw on a dress. Because I didn't want to be at the stoves long and like, uh, again, let's stay focused. Let's remember our list. They got all the little awesome bleach, but now that bleach is so weak, I gotta get Clorox. Like that bleach, you can't even bleach your clothes no more. Thanks, COVID, for making stuff more expensive for me. I miss my dollar bleach. All right, y'all know I only like the, um, for the tissue, I only like the Scots, and they only got this strong. I have tissue at home. So this is not a big deal. We're not gonna get that. Let me buy some of these little tissues. Let me buy some of these. Scotties. Okay, let's get some of these. I need to get the little face one to keep in my car. Time for the car. What else I came here for? I already forgot my list. Paper towel. Paper towels. Just gonna get one of those. Let me get this basket. I'm dropping the keys in the basket. Cause I ain't bring my purse. I like that other one. This Bouncy Essentials is so soft, but it's not that many sheets. I like the other one. I'm going to get two of these while I'm in here. Might as well. Oh, let me get a pan. I still got some pork chops for dinner. And a pan would just help me not have to wash. I'm going to get this pan right here. It's a dollar. Oh, we need paper plates too. Peaches, this was not on your list. But I do need paper plates. We're going to get two things of the paper plates. It's 30 in here. I buy these all the time. Plates. I feel like I need these bags. We don't need them. We need, we need, um, what is it called? Garbage bags. Ooh, they got the good sense. Hey, hey, they got the good sense. If he acting like he ain't got no sense. Ooh, kick him out, sis, with the good sense. Hey, these my favorite bags. We're going to get three. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get me some Q-tips, too, because... I like this set. Um, I ain't had no Q-tips the other day. And that was such a bother to me. We we'll gonna get one of 70 those. cotton swabs, or like I like to call them a Q-tip, and then 10 cotton balls for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Versus getting that big pack. But yeah, I like this because of the case. Because my kids, they beating stuff. Y'all look how big the deodorant. Oh my God, it look like swab for real. Or oh, people be bootleg and stuff. Look at this. It look, I thought this was a big swab. Hold on. Like a big old swab, but this is swab. The swab is still little. So these are guys for a dollar though. That's the kind of deodorant I use. I use swab. Old school ghetto like that. <laughs> like that, like that, straight like that. Y'all, I got some alcohol and I wiped my face with it recent and that jump burnt my face. So I ain't doing that no more. Let me get some of this toothpaste because my kids, child. Peaches, you just bought toothpaste yesterday. I don't need that. Don't need it. I don't need it. Lord help me. Help me with my Dollar Tree shopping addiction. All right, next thing we're going to get is some pins. Because that's what I came in here for. I needed some pins. I think I got everything on my list. And I think I didn't go outrageous because I'm trying to conquer this shopping addiction. When I had watched a video and that's what somebody called it, I was like, oh my God, I cannot be addicted to shopping. I had changed, It changed everything for me. Like, it was like, you have a shopping addiction. I'm like, I got addiction to nothing. I ain't got no shopping addiction. Don't you speak that on my life? And then I realized, Peaches, yes, you do, girl. You is addicted to the dollar store. Oh, look at these. I'm gone. I got these to the dollar store. And I'm trying not to be. They already putting out their Christmas decorations. Y'all see this? This is crazy. They said, forget it. Forget Halloween. Forget Thanksgiving. We already finna. Because people talking about Halloween is banned in some states and some counties. So Dollar Tree, like, whatever. We're going to get it by any means necessary. All right, Peach Patch. All we have is $20. And we're going to try to, you know, get all this. And we got the pay sales tax because this is Florida. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12. Ooh, I did good. 13. $13 plus tax. Make sure I don't leave my keys. I know somebody was like, Peach, get your keys. Peach, get your... She gonna leave her keys. I know I leave everything. We have us go. I gotta wait. This one don't tell you your total yet until the end. We'll see how it goes, Peach Patch. Grand Rising. Fourteen eleven. I got thirteen items. Sales tax is so high. Florida, Hillsborough County, shame on you. They talking about we should have had put you know the extra tax for the schools and all that because they needed new AC units, and we did that. And child, sales tax went from seven percent to eight point nine percent. How you get an eight point nine? Or is it eight point five? I don't forgot. It's eight point something. And the school still ain't got no AC. This was my total. It came up to $13. And then sales tax. It was a dollar and 11 cents sales tax. That is crazy. Hillsborough County. Hillsborough County. Y'all need to change this, this extra sales tax stuff. Take it back to 7% 7, 7 please. Stop shopping in Hillsborough County. Yes, I am. I had went and bought something. I was in Pinellas County. I was like, ooh, oh, oh. Okay, then. I remember when I was at the gun show, there was a girl in there sitting next to me, and she was from a different county. She was like, how is it that much? And I was like, girl, they got sales tax. Y'all ain't got sales tax where y'all at? She was like, no. We just pay the price. I was like, okay. Yeah, Florida, we got, the state of Florida has their own sales tax. I don't even think Florida's on a 7%. I think it's less than that. I'm going to look it up. Let me look it up so I can tell y'all accurately. And then on top of that, we have our own county tax on top of the um, Florida's tax. So the state of Florida sales tax is 6% for the state. The entire state is just 6%. That's not bad. But then depending on what county you live in, it increases because the county can have their own county sales tax on top of the state tax. So that's what happened in Hillsborough County. We used to pay 7%. So like I knew if I go pay $5, it's going to be $5.35. Some $10 is going to be $10.70. Now it's like 8 point. I believe it's 8 point. 8 point 9 percent. It's something crazy now. It's like, it's something ridiculous. My thing just got loose. My little phone thing to hold my phone up. I need to tighten it. But I'm driving. I got to pull over. You want to pull over, shawty. Shawty, you can call it on me. Satisfaction guarantee. Cause I can make it rain on you And I ain't gotta throw a damn thing Who had that as they MySpace profile song? We old, ooh, I'm telling my age right now I had that on as my um MySpace profile song I had sold that from Jasmine She had that as hers first Shawty, you can call on me, ooh Satisfaction guarantee Cause I can make it rain on you and I ain't gotta throw a damn thing. Oh, I'm still sick. <laughs> you heard that. The mucus was like, girl, you ain't got it yet, baby. You'll be well tomorrow. I thought it was gonna be today. But hopefully after I drink this tea and stuff, I'll be straight. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> we ain't going to no more souls right now. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you disagree with the way I live my life, oh, Judge your mammy, baby. Judge your mammy, baby. Judge your mammy, baby. Judge your mammy, baby. Judge your mammy. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go hit it up like you like. Hit it up like you like. Hit it up like you like. For your girl. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hit it up like you like. Hit it up like you like. For your girl. For your girl. Hit it up like you like. Hit it up like you like. You like my videos. Hit it like you like. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, EY babe Hit her like you like and send that love my way L to the IK, EY babe Hit her like you like and send that love my way Like, 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 let's go Like, 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 like
like, 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 like,